A familiar movie returned to theaters today with a new twist. After more than a year in the making, the Navajo version of Finding Nebo opened in theaters, including here in Albuquerque. That's where News 13's Lizay Mitri caught up with the voice of Nemo. All right for the 5:30 showing. Eager to get to the theater and get inside. Finding Nemo and how many tickets? Just one. 12-year-old Quentin Kine came smile and all, ready to watch Finding Nemo. Now back in theaters, this time in Navajo. In Albuquerque, you can only get this ticket here at Century Rio near I-25 in Jefferson with free showings playing now through Thursday. Um, it, it, mm, it feels nice. Quentin isn't just here as a spectator. Yeah. He's also the voice of Nemo. I just wanted to do this movie just to get my native language out. He honors his elders, and I think that's what we want many of the young kids to do as well. UNM Gallup teacher Joe Key helped translate the movie in an effort to keep alive what some worry is a dying language. Many of the voice actors uh, lack the skills of uh, reading and writing Navajo language. Quentin's sister says seeing it come together on the big screen. Oh, I was emotional. I was, I, I couldn't even describe any. I just kept looking at my little brother and I had tears in my eyes. So, so proud of him. Quentin is proud too, but he's not looking for any extra attention. I'm trying to keep myself undercover. And he thinks it's working, but... Um, he had to step away from our camera today to step in front of another one for moviegoers who wanted to pick with Nemo. Then, back on his way to show his nieces the movie, inspiring the young to celebrate their old Navajo language. Lizay Mitri. Bye, go on it. KRQE News 13. That's fantastic. The movie is also playing in Gallup and Farmington. Finding Nemo is only the second major motion picture translated into Navajo after Star Wars.